Hello. I'm going to show you how to hammer. Um, I am also going to show you a couple refreshers on how to wrap loops and how to use a diamond saw. So to start, this project that I'm showing you is based on this bracelet. So this component's purchased. These pieces of wire are linked in permanently using a 22 gauge round wire. This right here is 14 gauge square wire that I have pounded, which is what I'm going to show you how to do. And you could always do this with a um, one complete piece. Or you could have a different component in the center. And then we have a clasp attached with a very thick jump ring and an extender on the other end with a little head pin with a cute flower on the end. Now, when you're doing this, you're going to want a Sharpie pen if you're going to use the diamond saw. The diamond saw is going to help you cut through the 14 gauge wire and it'll leave a nice clean finish. Whereas if you were to use a really big pair of cutters, it's going to leave a point edge on the end. If you don't really care, then go ahead and do that. But I find it's really nice for when you're curling the wire under to have a flat, clean finish. <clears throat> okay, so a little refresher on the head pin turning. This is the little loop that's going to be on the end. Okay, so you'll take your piece, same thing for earrings, hold on to the beads, bend the pliers towards you, bend the wire over the top jaw, stop when you hit the beads, adjust your pliers and continue your loop back around. Now since this, this is such a thick head pin, I'm just gonna cut it and use it like that. Tuck it in, make sure you tuck it in or else those edges will catch. Now I'm gonna cut a piece of other wire. So, this is the wire that's holding the beads that attaches the pounded wire and the pendant. So bent the wire, wire pliers towards me, over the top, stop, and then you made yourself a hook. And that hook is going to attach right onto the pendant. <laughs> okay, so like so, it's just going to attach right on here like this. And then I hold the pliers close to the tip, bring the loop back around so that you have a finished circle. Now I'm going to place the pliers between the wire that I'm attaching to and where the two wires cross. So it'll look something like this. And then you're going to take the wire, bend it around, the shorter one around the longer one, cut it off, and tuck it in. Like so. <laughs> 